The Lenovo IdeaPad 110S is 2017's answer to dirt cheap laptops from Lenovo. It's only about $150 to buy, runs a full copy of Windows 10, hardly weighs anything, and has a nice keyboard. But it doesn't exactly have the highest end specs. However, we could be looking at the last of its kind with Windows 10S looming over the horizon. Let's take a look. I'm Eeples Vox here to make tech easier and more fun, and this is the Lenovo IdeaPad 110S the follow-up to last year's 100S. This time, they've upgraded from an Intel Atom processor to a full Celeron, 2GB of RAM, and 32GB of onboard flash storage. You still have the basic plastic shell body, 11.6-inch 1366x768 TN screen with poor viewing angles but decent quality straight on, and the full fold-out-to-flat hinges. But this time, you get lower battery life, which is kind of a bummer. This is a laptop that's perfect for a super budget school or travel writing laptop, but nothing more. The Intel Celeron processor, while likely to handle multitasking a little better, doesn't really bring any new performance over last year's model. In fact, the laptop scored lower on Google's Octane benchmark than the 100S. It's worth noting that Octane is being retired by Google though. I also ran it through browser benchmark speedometer, but I don't have the numbers from last year's model to compare it to. Also, last year's 100S only came with in Wi-Fi connectivity, which is much slower than the current generation AC wireless standard. The new 110S has AC, though it's a only 1x1 one one antenna, whereas my router is a 4x4 four four, and Wi-Fi could benefit from having more than 1x1 one one antenna, but it's still faster than in. The 110S has a responsive and comfortable keyboard for long typing sessions. No numpad, but the keys are appropriately arranged and spaced out for its size. Very easy to use. The screen is still nice and crisp for working in Word, Google Docs, or web browsing. But you don't get a ton more out of this machine. No Photoshop design work, no video editing, nothing like that. The included 360p webcam has a huge crop factor applied. This is sitting on the edge of my lap and I can barely keep my face in frame. And the quality is, of course, as abysmal as could be expected for this price of a laptop, I suppose. There's not much for I.O. either. On the left, you get the power jack, a full-size USB 3.0 port, full-size HDMI port, and a microSD slot. It's a bit of a pain to get the microSD card in there, but it doesn't stick out from the laptop side much at all, so this is great for expanding upon the mere 32 gigs of internal storage on this thing. On the right, you just have two USB 2.0 ports and a headphone-microphone combo jack. The speakers are on the bottom. They're stereo this time, instead of last year's mono, but they're not great. This time, the whole computer is just white. This is, theoretically, a more aesthetically neutral position to be in, but the solid white keyboard and hand rests are bound to start turning colors and looking pretty gross after a few months. I would not look forward to that. As far as media consumption goes, this is actually a pretty good machine. Via USB 3.0 external hard drive, I was able to smoothly play back 4K 60fps video files, 1080p 60fps video files, and a full raw Blu-ray rip MKV in the native Windows 10 Movies app with no hiccups. 8K proved to be a bit much for it though. On YouTube, I was able to play back 1080p 60, 1440p, and 4K with no dropped frames. But there are still plenty of moments when the computer becomes unresponsive or just downright sluggish to use. It's a little Celeron with a mere 2 gigs of RAM, and that can only do so much. Now you do have a full copy of Windows 10 on here, which adds a little flexibility over something like a Chromebook, and I feel it may be one of the last of its kind with Windows 10 S coming soon. If you're unaware, Windows 10 S is Microsoft's new security-first version of Windows 10. If you remember the Windows RT version of Windows 8 from the original Microsoft Surface, it's basically that. You can only run Windows Store apps, and the version of Windows itself is a little bit more slimmed down. This helps to increase security, and might even speed things up on lower-end computers like this, but it can limit what programs you can run on it. That's nothing you need to worry about for this model, just know that future models may come this way. In the United States, ISPs can now sell your browsing history and data as internet privacy rules were just rolled back. Don't want that to happen? Then it's time to set up a VPN. TunnelBear is offering a free three-day trial of their awesome VPN service for the next month or so. Hide your data, keep your browsing history safe behind a bear. Check the link in the description below or head to eposvox.com slash freebear to learn more. If you're looking for a sub $200 laptop for basic office work, web browsing, and media consumption, the Lenovo 110S might be for you. It features a couple upgrades from last year's 100S and is still tiny and super lightweight. 
I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, smash the like button, get subscribed for more awesome tech videos, and I will see you in the next one.